Hi, this is Sal Jade from the Psychic Healing Academy and over the next 30 days I'm going to be helping you with manifesting your goals and keeping positive and keeping really upbeat and keeping your vibration high whenever you're trying to create something. So this can be for artists who are trying to create an artistic career, it can be for business owners so anyone who is creating online courses or anyone who is a healer or a psychic, intuitive and you're trying to get your business out there and you're just trying to stay in your saddle and keep focused and keep motivated even if things around you feel like they're not moving that much and you feel like you're blocking your goals a bit or that your goals just aren't moving fast enough for you. So over the next 30 days I'm going to give you one tip each day and these come from all the biggest and best tips that I've used over the years with my psychic healing students and I've seen enormous success with them and enormous heartfelt love of how their goals have actually progressed by using some of these tips so I'm really hoping it's going to help you. So the first one I'm going to talk about today and this is probably one of the biggest one and I use this these techniques a lot with some of my healing students and some of my psychic healing clients because they it is one of the biggest blockages that we have when we're trying to manifest a goal and that is comparing yourself constantly to others this can block you more than anything else when you're trying to manifest your goal it's really important to remember that we are all here on our own little unique journey and if you're say creating online courses or trying to start an online business and you're really passionate about it and you're looking around and you can see that others around you for example are doing much much better than you then focusing on that is not going to help you in the long run it's just not like it's, it's always good to kind of check out what the you know the competition's doing just to see what works but obsessing about how much more money or how much more success other people are having when they're doing what you're doing and following similar goals will lead to a lot of belittling and a lot of self-doubt and this can block your creative process and it can block your goals from manifesting and so for years I've been working with this client and she's just an absolutely gorgeous woman and I love her to bits and I've noticed that one of her biggest things is she just starts to shift something in her life like to say around her love life and she starts to go with the flow when suddenly she'll come back to me and go oh but all my friends are married and have children and and they're all doing ABC and you know I still haven't really met the right guy and and like we've only just got it to the stage where she feels comfortable dating and so for years I've been saying to her look you just need to stop looking around at what all your friends are doing and focus on what's working for you and your own soul journey so this is for as I said this can apply to anyone and I know myself as an online entrepreneur that I can get really bogged down when I look in in Udemy and places where I sell my courses and see other people doing hugely well and thinking well I you know I'm following all those steps they're doing and I'm blogging and I'm doing this and I'm doing that and how come my sales aren't as high as theirs and I know as soon as I start engaging in this kind of thought pattern that my sales just go down and they don't get better, they get worse. So please just have a look at what you're doing in your business and what you're doing in your artistic projects and whatever you're trying to create, like whatever goal it is, look at you and focus on you. And that will avoid any belittling and self-love and you know self-love doubting and not being able to feel like you want to get up in the morning and pursue your goal with a lot of vigor so stop comparing yourself to others know that this is your unique soul journey so one thing that works really well for me and my clients and I'd love it to you to try this out and see how you feel is to for 24 hours give yourself a challenge so from whenever you watch this video give yourself 24 hours to put your hand on your heart and say I am me this is my journey and really experience how that feels in your heart just acknowledging that whatever's going on around you this is your journey and this is your development and these are your manifestations and your goals and doing that it's like you're bringing it back into your body and acknowledging to your body self and your body wisdom that okay I'm gonna get my energy all back here instead of flying all out there and clinging to other people and it just helps you remain really focused and clear and it can often clear out blockages and also like any kind of distractions 
And what you'll find is that if you spend 24 hours and just monitor your thoughts and every time you spot something that is similar to what you want in your life. So say for example, you are a painter and you know, you're trying to create a new art gallery and you're working really hard on manifesting this and suddenly you run into someone that you knew years ago who you you know, secretly think is not as talented as you and you suddenly see they're doing really well and all these feelings of, you know, lack of self-esteem and all this, what am I doing wrong and this despair comes up. Take that moment to put your hand on your heart again and just say, I am me and this is my journey and really feel that and if you have to close your eyes, close your eyes and just keep your whole magic within you, like forget what everyone else around you is doing. And I know from you know working with a lot of other healers that some of the most successful healers I know are people who have absolutely no idea what any other healers are doing. Like they're really oblivious. And people often say to them, oh, have you heard of this you know, incredible healer? They're doing this and they're shifting cancer and they're doing this. And, and, and you know, these people and I go, oh, no, sorry, I've never heard of them. And, you know, and but that's all right. You know, I'm doing what I do. That's focusing on me. So for the next 24 hours, my first tip for keeping the faith and keeping positive while you're creating and manifesting any goals is to just continually focus on yourself and the second any kind of monkey mind thoughts come in that say to you oh why didn't you know how come I haven't had the success that person's had I've followed the same steps and I've done what they've done and I I still feel like I'm not getting very far just put a big lid on those thoughts those thoughts have no power on you and just go back into your center and just say I'm focusing on me and this will help so much in moving you forward with your goals. It'll keep you positive and it'll really keep you feeling like you've got that motivation to just keep going no matter what's going on in the outside world. So thank you for joining me today and if this was a useful tip to you, please like it and comment and share and I look forward to doing tomorrow with you and and finding out what we're going to do to keep our vibration high tomorrow. Thank you. This is Sal Jade from the Psychic Healing Academy.